Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle Testimony. <sighs> Take a good look at this man. His, uh, I know his name is Sidney. He's the father that, uh, left his child in the car, basically, to die. Now, he claimed he locked his keys in the car. And he said the air conditioning was running. And um, he was saying that, um, I, it was on one of them reports, the child was walking around in the car playing and all that kind of stuff. Even with that, as a mother, the child can easily go, you know, come up to the front and get into the uh, seat, you know, the passenger seat. Not passenger seat, but driver's seat. I'm sorry, y'all, but this story is very distraughtening. And just start playing with stuff, you know, that can be possibly dangerous. That's for, that's for one thing. That's if that's true. <sighs> Another thing. You know, they were also saying in the reports, this guy didn't have no, um, I guess, roadside service or um, lots of milk, you know, to help him out for this situation, unlock the door and all that kind of stuff. This... Uh, I'm trying to use my words more without being offensive. Boy. <laughs> this boy, instead of, instead of calling on the um, locksmith and asking for roadside service, which they said he did. Uh, I think his girlfriend did. But this fool didn't want to pay the price that the last myth uh, gave him. He would rather use his mama insurance for emergency so he won't have to pay for shit. That's how that go. So I... So it's kind of hard for me to call this individual a man, but yet you're still calling on your mama when you're getting into trouble. Now, I understand we all have accidents. We all lock ourselves in the car. We, but honey, when it comes to our kids and we lock our kids in the car, especially you mothers out there and fathers too as well, Honey, we be calling a lot smith, and if we, um, I, how much would a lot smith would come out there? Like if you don't have no insurance, um, you know, all that included uh, with your insurance and stuff like that. How much would it be? Would it just be a hundred and seventy-five dollars or two hundred? Somebody leave that in the comment for me. So, so nobody could at least come out there at least 15 minutes since you claimed that you had the air conditioning running. You said you had your girlfriend call the locksmith to come out and unlock your doors. But since a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars, you refuse. Well, hell, how much uh, would it cost you to break a window? How the way he acting, he act like it probably would, would be a thousand dollars or something like that. Let me tell you something. Ain't no amount of money is worth my child's life. Ain't no amount of money. Excuse me.
I don't get this. This story from the Gapco seems shady to me. Very shady. It seems like a whole lot of people is covering up some shit. And who suffered from this? Saya did. I probably ain't saying that baby name right. God rest that baby soul. God rest her soul. She is innocent. Very innocent. I, I just don't get it. Is a car worth than your daughter? Is, is, is your car is more valuable than your daughter's life? I don't understand that. I don't understand that. If you didn't want your daughter in the first place, why the hell would you take your daughter away from her mother? Hell, she probably could be alive by now. Just saying. <sighs> I tell you. I tell you. I, I don't know the baby mother or anything. But um, I know this boy mama. She's supposed to be a doctor or a PhD or whatever. Uh, you know, however, you know how the courts are. They look at the person with the most valuable or most money and all that kind of stuff. But yet, if you're a single mom and you're struggling and all that kind of stuff, they would, you know, they particularly think because um, the other parent have the most and all that kind of stuff, the child is better off. With, with that parent. Let me tell you something, you people. That's not always true. Look at this situation. That That's not always true. Evidently, seemed like this man care, you know, about having money, more money, materialistic things, um, than he do with his own damn children. Yes. And you know what? We got some mans like this. Not all mans is like this. At all. You got some mans that's actually protectors. You got some mans would actually kill for their children. You got some mans that it is a war lion. That protect their mothers and their children and whoever else that needs protecting. But you got some care coward. Cowards like this. Yes, cowards. That hide behind their mothers. And expect their mothers to do everything for them. What you call them? Mama's boys. Yes, mama's boys. So obviously, yes. Of course, he was having a good job as a security but yet, he looks like one of these fools that just blows his money on uh, nice tennis shoes, nice clothes, um, you know, materialistic things. Looks like he blows his money then to take care of his children and his family. But yet, every time he gets in the jam, Calling the old mama. 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 I lost, my, I lost my keys in the car. Mama. Mama. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to grow up. Y'all need to grow up. And mothers, please cut these aprons. I mean, yeah, yeah they, these apron strings. Please cut the strings. <sighs> Because we don't need another one of this. Another one of these. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. 
Hell, we as a people already got a bad rap, but now look at this. They already say we don't care about our kids or anything. Man. But I do pray for the family, especially the mother's family. I can just imagine losing your child. Well, I don't know how many kids she has. But losing a child... I know it's got to be devastating. Very devastating. But yes, yeah, so what, what, what y'all think about this? What, what do y'all think about this? They said in the report, his brother tried to break the window. The cops tried to break the window. Man, he he was um holding them back from breaking the window because he cared about his precious car than his daughter. My God. Mm-mm-mm. God rest God rest that baby soul. God rest that babe's soul. Till next time, y'all be blessed.